Damn, well then what about um, uh, Better Beav? Better Beav and um, David, because you've been in the ring with... Both of them. Yeah, oh, so, man. I mean... Oh man, Arthur, that... and I like David, but <laughs> David ain't ready for that. Really? In my opinion. You wow. Know, like, okay, okay, I'm, 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 I'm going to tell you why I think this. I'm just going to educate the boxing people, right? You look at Arthur. It's just insulting that he's not number one on the pound for pound list. Damn. Over, over Bud? Over Inouye? Over... Yeah, listen, he has a 100% knockout ratio. Hmm. Knocking out real guys. If you look at his resume, knocked out Divorce Cloud with five professional fights. Gabriel Campillo. Marcus Brown. The kid, Alexander Volznik, who put it down to Stevenson in the hospital. These guys get busy, and these guys are huge. Marcus Brown is huge. Alexander Volznik is huge. You know, so even um, Anthony Yard, look how big Anthony Yard is. Yeah. If you see the way he's beating these guys down. Joe Smith, yeah. That's Joe a... Smith, who's <laughs> never been down. Never been down. He gets knocked out in two rounds. They talking about some b -ball. Him and b -ball would be a good fight. I don't think so. I think b -ball is getting knocked out pretty fast, too. Like, b -ball, Damn. Mind, mind you, Joe Smith. Had b off on spaghetti string to do legs. He got hit and was. But what if they say it's turn, just one? one turn into the Harlem Shake. What if they say it's just one shot though? Like, cause he recovered. You know, everyone gets caught. They say Devin got caught by Lenars. Okay. And Floyd got caught by Shane. And, okay. You know. And I, and I I hear that. But here's my thing. b looked it uncomfortable in there with Joe Smith pressure. Like he, Joe Smith wore him down with with his pressure, even though he won the fight. But he wore him down with, with that with that pressure, just coming in a straight line. Our third pressure is totally different. And he's physically an animal. He's physically strong. And Arthur ain't going to slow down like Joe Smith did. And if Arthur, well, I ain't going to say if, when Arthur, if they ever fight, when Arthur catch him, over. Mm. I promise you, I, I don't see it going past, I don't see it going past five. Uh, I think Arthur knocks b out pretty fast. I don't think b will have enough firepower to keep Arthur off of him. Oh, Listen, look at when he fought uh, Little Canelo. Everybody acting like he just whooped Canelo. If you look at Canelo's face, it doesn't even look like Canelo was in a fight. To be fighting a light heavyweight when he's really a 54-pounder. And, and he, he had Bivolv when a... Bivolv was kind of scared. Well, I ain't going to say kind of. He was scared to step it up and go for the knockout. He played it safe like, I'm just going to win. With somebody that's too small and that's really a 54-pounder, he played it safe. Imagine him with a real live monster in front of him that can crack. Imagine when he when, when he get hit by him, what's going? How he gonna feel? Well, I, I mean, I definitely can say when I was at the um, the Gashek fight in Philly, yeah. when I did the unification. Yeah, I've been to heavyweight fights. I've seen Wilder. You know, I mean, I've heard, I hear the punches ringside of heavyweights. Right. But when he was punching Gashek, those punches stood out like to a point where I couldn't believe. So I mean, that's me hearing the punches. What did it? I, I don't want to say feel, but like. Oh, I, but, oh, you 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 want me to tell you what it feel like? Listen, I'll tell you a story. When I first sparred with Arthur, my 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 pops, like I, I he, he's my boxing father. Like uh he said, and he's like a father figure, he'd been there for me since I was 16. But yo, he told me, now all my years of boxing, I sparred with Kyle Frock, Chad Dawson, Lucian Butte, Troy Ross, like real champions. You fought Kovalev. You Ko know? I fought Kovalev. Yeah. And when he saw him, he said, I said, uh, they called me to go spar with him. He said, and my pops, you know who I am. He know I get a, when it comes to boxing, I love boxing. Like, I really think I'm the best. So he said, uh, he tried to let me down easy. He said, um, yeah, you, uh, nah, you don't need that. We don't need that. You know what I'm saying? We got, we don't need that. And I kind of caught me off guard because I'm like, what? We don't need that. What you, so they paying though. He like, I know, but you know, we don't need that. We can, I'm saying you the best. We, you know what I'm saying? We going to train with somebody else. I'm like, I said, nah. Mind you, out of 15 years of boxing, he's never turned down no work. I said, so he that strong? He said, well, he tough. I'm like, what you mean tough? He like, he's like really tough. I'm like, what's really tough? He said, he's like super tough. I'm like, I'm going to spar with him. He said, okay, just remember, I told you don't. <laughs> so I got to get to Montreal. Now, Mike Ramsey is my guy. Like that's they, they like family to me. Yeah, good guy. So I've been sparring with uh, they guys. Way uh, when they guys get ready for world titles, not the first turn to pro, helping they guys, so they really like know me. So um, I get out there, I see him, I'm like, oh, he don't look that big, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, he got a big head, but he don't look that big, you know what I'm saying? I ain't worried about that. So when we get in the ring, I asked Mark, I said, Mark, uh, how you want me to, like, what you want me to do? <laughs> 
Mark said, just do your best. I said, what? Yo, I said, in my head, I'm like, oh, now I'm fucking him up. Now, now I'm fucking him up. This is the second person that know me well telling me to do my best. And then one told me, don't spry. I said, man, I'm spry. Why am I? Why? All right, I'm about to show both of them. Bell ring. Ding dong, the bell ring. I'm like, all right, cool. So I hit, I hit it with my pump fake. Hit it with the pump fake. Hit it with the pump fake. Then threw a jab, and he came over it. Yo, it felt like, you ever get on the airplane, and you pulling off, and, and you like, it's like, it felt like, 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 when he hit me, it felt like I was on an airplane pulling off. Like, I felt like I was like, like I was descending into heaven. I'm like, I'm about to meet the Lord. Stop. Yes, I'm about to meet the Lord. Oh, I'm not. I'm still on the ground. Like, and Mark was like, you okay? And I was like, am I? I was trying to see if I was still alive. I'm like, I can feel myself, but maybe I'm in, I'm in heaven. I, maybe I don't. Like, I, it, the, I've never been hit that hard since, since I've been born. Like his punches are, to say he hit hard is like a, it's like an understatement. It's like a, I'm sending you, I'm lying to you. If I say I'm about to fight Arthur, you'll be careful. He hit hard. I feel like I'm, 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 I'm lying to you because it's like when you get hit, you're like, nah, that's not just hitting hard. That's like, nah. Listen, look how big Joe Smith is. Soon as he, boom. <laughs> look at Alexander Vosnick. He just said, I can't take it no more. I'm, fuck that. I, and, and they had him winning the fight. He did take a break for uh, like two years too after. Uh. And you heard what he said after the fight? He said, I, I stayed up because I felt like I was about to die. He retired. <laughs> and people laughed, but I understood what he felt. He getting hit with 10s. I'm getting hit with 18s on. He getting hit with 10s on. I'm getting hit with 18s. And I'm, and I'm like, yo. Whew. So David Benavidez, he, listen, I like David, but let's, 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 let's come back down to reality. David looks good against small guys. He fight Arthur. He's going to get knocked out. It won't go past three. Because mm. I'm going to tell you why. Because David's not used to fighting anybody who hit that hard and that big and physically an animal. I, David is not physically strong at all. Arthur, he going to have to deal with Arthur being physically what? strong. What? You're saying David's not strong? He's not physically strong. When I wow. start, he's not physically strong. Like, and David don't punch hard. He just put a lot of punches together. He overwhelmed you. And then it looked like he punched hard because he fighting blown up fifty four pounders. And I'm not hating. I'm just telling you facts. These no, no, I'm not, I'm never. I ain't get punched yeah. by neither one. I'm yeah, just kinda... like like DDs is facts. When Arthur hit him with them little gloves on, because David only defense is this. When Arthur, boom, boom, he go, woo, he gonna be like, okay. Well, then He's, who the who the hell beats Arthur? Nobody. I I, I think he had to go up to cruiserweight or heavyweight. But anybody that that uh, light heavyweight. No, I just can't see it. Don't get me wrong, anything can happen. It's boxing. He, he, he is a man. Anything can happen. That's one strong man. That's one strong man. And you know what's crazy? I'm so stupid. I was his main sparring partner for the last five years because I'm so arrogant when it comes to boxing. I'm like, no way. There's no way. I'm going to get him. They, yeah, I'm coming back. Same thing. I'm like, man, what can I do? Today? Five years. I'm like, what can I do? And then last time I almost died, I, I, that was God telling me, yeah, that's, that's the plan right there. Just stop going. That's how you're going to win. Just don't get in the ring with him. And I say, okay, God, I believe you. <laughs> God, man. I'm well, just keeping it real. No. People, I'm just keeping it real. Like, to get hit that hard, it's just like your body going to shot. I don't care how good you are. Like, look at Marcus Brown. When he started getting hit, you saw us, he like, yo, listen, he got but he, counted but he, out. But he did kind of good in the fight a little bit, right? Some people would say, like, you know, he was, you know, was it the cut? You know, the cut kind of made it more difficult for. When, I, listen, when he got cut, that's when Arthur really started beating him up. Okay, well, all right. I'm, I'm playing devil's advocate. Go, right? ahead, I'm go, just, ahead, go ahead. The Anthony Yard fight was pretty competitive. Some people said Arthur looked a little older in that fight, right? Okay, yeah. okay, okay, okay. Okay, let's let's break it down one by one. Okay, <clears> Arthur <throat> get hit. It's boxing. So you so you tell me that no fire. He got hit with a couple good shots. Now, once was he hurt in the fight. Now, once he showed any signs of weakness in the fight, he got hit with a good shot and came back and knocked the yard out. So how I don't get people say he look old. How do you look look old when you're knocking out young guys that's big that get busy? <laughs> like you fight good fighters, you're gonna get hit sometimes. Alexander Vosnick hit him the most, and he knocked him out. They weren't saying he looked at old then. You know Anthony Yard is young, young pro, strong. You know what I'm saying? He get, and and big. He hit Arthur with some good shots.
Arthur like nothing. Like, that's why it's important to know boxing. Like, just because just you get hit a few times, that don't mean you get no. It just mean you in a good, you in a tough fight. Who else? Uh well, I mean, he got dropped early in his career, right, against um, Callum Johnson, right? You know, they, so, so does he have a chin? I guess that's the. Oh. I'm playing devil's advocate. Okay, yeah, so okay, okay. You know, so this, maybe maybe this. maybe the right punch on the right time, right? He's he's facing. You know, top guys that can punch. Okay. And eventually, you know, he's what in his forties now, right? Thirty-eight. 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 Okay, so Cal Callum. Okay, okay. He Callum Smith. He got dropped. But he first of all, he dropped Callum Smith. Well, first. I think he's about to fight Callum Smith coming up. I mean, I mean Callum, but, Johnson, but Callum, Callum Johnson. Johnson. Callum right? Johnson. Yes, Callum Johnson. My fault. So, so he fights Callum Johnson. He dropped Callum Johnson first. Mm. And if you saw, he really got caught because he got lazy. He got lazy. But then, my thing is, it's boxing. You're gonna get hit. But when he got up, what happened? See, people don't tell the whole story. He got dropped and got up and damn near killed Callum Johnson. You saw when he dropped him, like his legs, like somebody took a knife and cut his knees out. Boom. And we saw when he, when, when he got up, he was looking like, what? And that's a big boy. That is a big dude. And look, he's been knocking out. If you look at, show how good Arthur is. Callum Johnson's been knocking guys out ever since Arthur. So he's a good puncher. It ain't like this guy is a slouch. It's not like this guy is a slouch. But if you see the way, if you see the way Arthur, if you see the way Arthur responds to trouble, he turns it up. Marcus Brown, the cut. They was about to stop the fight. Marcus Brown won the first two rounds. Most people thought. When Arthur heard that, what happened? Oh, he just started beating Marcus Brown down with a gash in his face. <laughs> like that just show you the level of. How can I say it? The, the level of uh, dominance. This man has the level of grit. Like, you know what I'm saying? That dude is no joke. For him not to be number one on the pound for pound list is obscene to me. That is that is ludicrous. That's it's crazy. Like he's beating top. They match him. Tough, 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 tough. And he ain't ducking no smoke. Listen, mind you, in his defense with the Anthony Yar fight, he did travel across the water. So being jet lag and all that shit, that shit is real. You know what I'm saying? That shit is real. Being jet lag, time difference and all that. That's real, and he still knocked him out. Well, look, I definitely have to come back once these fights get made. Oh, but definitely. but back to you, yeah. end it out, you know. Um. February 8th, it's on and popping. Lonnie B is back. The best Superman away in the world is back. And uh, You want all the smoke. I want all the smoke. Anybody, David Benavidez, David Morrell, Canelo Alvarez. Arthur better be a... No, no, sir. <laughs> no, sir. Only no, listen. One. <laughs> I, just... I tap out early. <laughs> <laughs> We're kidding. Follow but anybody else can get it, though. You know what I'm saying? Lion, Instagram, Lonnie B. The Champ. Facebook, Lionel Lonnie B. Thompson. Snapchat, Lonnie B. 168. I love all y'all. Thank y'all for supporting me. And get your tapes ready. 2024 is my year. Mark my words. From God's mouth to my ears to y'all ears. And I would have told you so. <laughs> and I told you so. Yeah. I want apologies. And guess what? I want everybody who commented up on the Sean thing calling me crazy to apologize. And if y'all don't, I jam me when I see you. Awesome. Appreciate no, it, Chan. <laughs> Thank you, man.